Tonight, our News Channel 5 investigation of the Upper Cumberland Development District is getting attention on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers are now promising a full investigation of what some are calling a full-blown scandal, a scandal involving an agency that's supposed to create jobs and help the poor. News Channel 5's chief investigative reporter Phil Williams first exposed the whole controversy and your investigation, Phil, is getting quick response. There is absolutely no doubt about that. Now, those lawmakers say their constituents are demanding answers. The same message being heard on talk radio. Do not let them look the other way. Do not let this story go away. It's an investigation that's captured the attention of Nashville talk radio host Steve Gill. Who set up all this slush farm stuff to start with. And his listeners. The good old boys patting each other on the back and letting it slide. They're upset about all the money spent by the Upper Cumberland Development District on a million dollar home that was supposed to become a home for seniors, but also became home for UCDD Executive Director Wendy Askins. There's also agency money spent on alcohol, political funding, Reasers and gifts. And when you're seeing dollars go to lavish parties and, and political fundraisers rather than the people in our communities who really need help. I think people can understand that in a more visceral, more direct and more personal way. And I think that's why people are outraged by this. I hereby declare pass without objection. The it's a message being heard on Capitol Hill where Lebanon Republican Mark Pody has called a meeting of all the legislators from the 14 Middle Tennessee counties served by the UCDD to begin their own investigation. We want to find out exactly who's doing what and what the extent of this is. Uh, this is taxpayers money and we need to know what's going on. It's an idea supported by Representative Charles Curtis from Sparta, who actually serves on the UCDD board. Curtis says he was stunned by what we discovered. The board is a part-time board. We're not there sitting there all day, and we don't know. We've been getting audits back every year, and nothing has shown up in those audits uh, that would cause us any grief. Grief they're now hearing loud and clear. I wish they'd put them on chain gangs. <laughs> Now, Representative Pody says he wants to get all the lawmakers from those 14 counties together week after next to discuss a plan to begin their own investigation. He anticipates that legislative hearings could come at some point after that, Kristen. Okay, Phil, so where do you go next with your investigation? Well, we've got another really big development. Tonight at 10, we have the first report from a state investigation into what's going on at that million dollar living the dream house. And let me tell you right now, it does not look good. All right, Phil. Well, Phil also obtained new documents and new video. Just go to newschannel5.com to look at everything from our UCDD investigation.